I think using using the products, like even the water brush, a lot of people have really been enjoying working with the water brush, creating backgrounds. So for example, uh, using the stains. Stains are great to watercolor with because you're going to get the same color from start to finish, where a re-inker, it's going to go on dark and then you have to wet it out. This, when I go and pick this up, I'm going to have the same color intensity from start to finish when I'm working with it. Now the flat brush, that's going to allow you to really create some nice flat wash strokes, but if I'm going to do mixed media or collage and I want to go in, um, maybe I want to add another color to this even. So I'll put some of this on my craft sheet. And I want to create a bigger background. The flat brush, all you have to do is remove the top. And when you mix these together, you're going to end up with kind of a large round brush. So that's going to allow you to really go in and do some great little mopping of color. Because that bigger brush is going to allow for a totally different uh, feel than just going with straight brush strokes. So we'll squeeze that through, clean that out, and then we just go right back in and it's back to our flat. It's nice. Nice. Let me clean up my mess. I love that.